the rumor is if the health department gets out of the way, box out. The new container park on Dolphin Street will open Thursday for Mardi Gras Parade for the strike. Oh, really? Yep. And the real big part about this is that the, the vendors that they got now is a uh, uh, D's Treats, mm -hmm. which is kicked up carnival food. And then Smacks, Smoke Shack, so you got barbecue. And I hope I get the name right, Las Carachas, mm -hmm. which is uh, Honduran food. Oh. And I tried their horchata the other day. It is off the charts. It's so much better than what you can get most of the re Mexican restaurants. And in the future, we'll talk about why it's different. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be another place in there, Mike. Do tell us. The city is buzzing about this new mac and cheese centric restaurant that's going to be in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Mac and Cheesery. Mm -hmm. It's owned by local chef, me. You? Yes. I am. Finally, get out of here. I am doing ownership. <laughs> I am opening my own place. If we her it, jump all of the bureaucratic hurdles by Thursday, we will be open for the strike for Thursday night. Get out of Currently, here. Currently, I have a building with nothing in it. <laughs> and I've got till Thursday night to turn it into a, an operating kitchen that the health department can sign off on. Yeah. So I got a busy week ahead of me. Get your flat grill on this system. Mac and cheese, uh, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for Mardi Gras, all I'm doing is just mac and cheese that I can scoop and get people on their way. Scoop and go. But once we get open, there will be gourmet grilled cheeses, uh, soup of the day, mm -hmm. plus a house soup, which is going to be a roasted tomato basil because. Everybody likes to dunk that grilled cheese into a tomato soup, right? That's it. <clears throat> so we're going to do a, a good one. And then we're going to have pasta salads as well. All right. So 